With EVO Japan right around the corner, Riot has been going in on teasers for 2XKO on all of their social media platforms. It feels pretty obvious to me that they're really close to announcing some new characters for the game, so before the roster gets too big, I figured I might as well put together a quick little video and throw my hat into the ring. You clicked on this video, I know what you want, you sick freak. You've arrived to hear some guy yap about what champions he wants in 2XKO so that you can agree and feel validated or disagree and feel superior. Well fine bud, I got the good stuff right here, but I'll be honest, I don't know if you can handle a video this potent. Number one is Akali. I kept postponing making a 2XKO video because I have this weird suspicion that Akali is gonna get announced any day now. But all we've gotten from the 2XKO team has been minute long videos of themselves telling us how they're making the game. How dare they keep in touch with the community without having some hot news every single time? Don't they know we're fiending for this game? Anyways, Akali would be sick in 2XKO. She's a hot ninja lady with a cool invisible shroud thing high mobility and a kunai she can throw. When considering characters for this video, I looked at their league toolkit and compared it to characters that I know of already existing in a fighting game. There's tons of ninjas that throw kunai already existing in fighting games, the most popular being Ibuki from Street Fighter. It's too good of a fit. She's incredibly popular too. If anything's preventing her from making it in, it's the fact that she isn't in the animated show Arcane, and all of those characters are basically guaranteed to be in this game in some capacity. In fact, that's the case for all of the champions I'm listing in this video today, so keep that in mind. That being said, Riot would be silly to not put her in. Just look at how many skins she has. Next up is Samira. Come on, man. I know I just said Akali was a shoe in but Samira is Tag Fighters. She's practically begging to be used as a Dante clone a la Marvel vs. Capcom. It's very clear that action games like Devil May Cry were the inspiration of Samira's design. So this would be like a full circle thing. I'm surprised more people don't talk about Samira. Her design is sick. She's like a pirate bounty hunter lady. She's highly mobile and has every tool you could think of to outplay your opponents in League of Legends. She uses a gun and a sword for crying out loud. There's so much you can do with her too. What if she played like Dante, but also kept her grade system or used it as a sort of level up system? The possibilities for how she'd play in this game are limitless and make me the most excited about any potential champion champion to join the roster. All right, so Braum. Braum is awesome. He's a champion with a big ass shield and a big ass mustache. He fights to protect those weaker than him and is a friend to the little critters of the land of Runeterra, specifically the Poros. I really want to see Braum beating the shit out of dudes with his shield, but I think it would be a missed opportunity if he didn't have a Poro help him in some way. Like I know he's there to protect them and everything, but what if what if he just chucked the Poros? He does already have a projectile in the form of a snowball he shoots out of his shield. His shield gets empowered and has a mechanic that puts a debuff on those who he hits consecutive times. There are many examples of an ice or slow debuff in fighting games, so if Riot wanted it in this game, they could use Braum to introduce that mechanic. Maybe he could have a guard assist. I feel like Braum doesn't get a lot of credit for how awesome of a champion he is because he's barely ever meta in League of Legends. His personality would fit in really well with the FGC and I hope he makes it in 2XKO at some point. Number four is Kane. This is a guilty pleasure champion for me. He is so edgy to the point where it's stupid. I love it. He's got two different forms that the player can choose from in the middle of a match. One where his scythe takes over his body, or one where he masters his scythe, becoming the shadow assassin. I don't know how they'd incorporate his two different forms, maybe stances or a level up mechanic? Scythes are cool weapons, if not impractical. I want to see how you can do his ultimate in a fighting game. For those unaware, he kind of kind of goes inside you. <laughs> it's Well look, it works like this. He can also sort of vanish through terrain. Maybe he can have some sort of teleport move where he goes underground. I, I don't know, man. I don't have to design the character. I just have to sit here and yap about them. Okay, last up is Vi. Now, I know I told you no champions from Arcane. Well, guess what, pal? I lied. I know Vi is the low-hanging fruit. If there's one champion not yet announced that is 100% going to be in the game, it's Vi. She's one of the main characters in Arcane, arguably the main character, which means so much for Riot marketing their shiny tiny animated series. She is incredibly popular, has so many skins, and is practically already a fighting game
game character. Vi punches dudes. That's what she does. Her Q would work really well as a dash punch like Balrog from Street Fighter. She already has what is essentially a DP in the form of her ultimate, except it homes onto people. Dear God, please don't do that. It already does a sort of three hit combo when attacking. Vi is going to be in this game. Hey, I had to make sure at least one of my guesses will be right. Surprise, number six, it's Brimstone from Valorant. I want him to pull out a gun and shoot everybody. God, that would suck. You ever get the feeling that some of these champions people suggest would be complete ass? Well, I did too, and I made a video about it right here. You want to click on it, I know you do. Also, I'm sorry for calling you a sick freak. Okay, thanks, bye.